Hey, Warren next time here. This question comes from my friend, Dave. Dave says, Warren, my grandson has two dogs and brought them to my home when he moved in with me a year ago. The dogs are from the same litter, male and female. The dogs are spayed and neutered, that's a good thing. I have a neutered male chihuahua and a spayed cockatoo. That's four dogs in the house, good for you. The dogs get along really well. The issue is the grandson's male lifts his leg on everything in the house. He whines a lot also. He's a 20 pound short haired dog and can't stay outside. Shouldn't stay outside anyway, short or long hair. We have to keep him kenneled while inside. What can we do to successfully train him? You're creating the problem. The more you can find the dog, the more the dog needs to claim territory. How does the dog claim territory? He's not gonna throw his socks and t-shirt there. He's gonna pee there. So you're actually creating the problem. Let me explain a few things to you. Number one, I'm glad, I'm glad the four dogs are getting along. I'm glad they're all spayed and neutered. However, this dog needs more time, more exposure outside of that kennel. The more time you spend with a dog in specific areas, the less apt they are to go. I can pretty much tell you the dog's not going in the kennel. I'm not a big fan of crate training anyway, but the dog's not going in the kennel because he stays there. If he's not in the rest of the house and he smells the other dogs in the rest of the house, what are his options? Hey, I gotta survive here, I better claim some territory. So here's what I'm recommending. Number one, try to find all the areas in the house where the dog has previously peed. May be difficult, but if you go to a pet store or a lighting store and get one of those black lights, use it at night, it will show up all the urine markings in the house. Then you really need to clean it up properly with a good stain and odor remover made specifically for a pet, something with enzymes in it. Once you clean up the whole house, and if you find specific areas where the dog is more apt to pee, spend more time with the dog in those areas. In fact, put some of his treats in those areas, put some of his toys in those areas as well, and hang out with him on the floor in those areas. I know it sounds a little crazy to do that, but the more time you spend with the dog at a location, the less apt they're going to need to claim it. So if you spend more time in those different locations, putting the food around, as I suggested, his treats here, maybe a little of a, his dry food here, after you've cleaned up everything, you'll notice that the urinating in the house will probably stop. Also, you didn't say here, but I'm assuming you have four dogs. And the four dogs are spayed and neutered, as I said, fabulous, thank you. They live together. And it seems to me from what I'm reading into this, and I may be reading into it, um, that they don't get walked. The dogs spend their time all together, either in the backyard or in your case, this dog in the house or in the kennel. Maybe if you can walk them, if you and your son can walk the dogs, that would be beneficial. The more you walk your dogs on neutral territory, the less apt they need to con control or, 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 or claim territory when they come home. So the resolution is really simple. Number one, clean it up. And let's just assume the dog came into the house for the first time. Spend time with him in the areas, if there's special areas where he goes, get on the floor with him, put his toys and his treats around, as I said, can make all the difference in the world. I've been doing this for well over 40 years. And probably the most common question I get asked is about housebreaking or, or a cat not using a litter box or a dog peeing in the house. Unless there's a medical reason, there's always a, uh, a psychological uh, part of it. And in your case, it's four dogs living together. Can you imagine four guys living together and one guy's confined and the rest have free run of the house? Well, I don't know if the guy will pee on the floor, but he might do something else. So that's, that's why I bring that up. I want you to look at your dog's perspective from our perspective. Here he is, a beautiful dog, a little dog kept in a crate when you're not around. Give him more freedom. Spend more time with him. Follow my advice. The next time he has an accident, though, and you miss it, hopefully you won't, clean it up with a, that good stain and oil remover. Put a little bit of the dog's favorite treat in that area and forget about it. Once he realizes that his food is going where he pees, he's going to stop peeing in most cases, unless they're, again, a physical problem. So follow the advice. Call me on the show in a couple of weeks. You've had more questions about it or you don't seem to be getting the results. But I want you to understand this, again, it's not a dog that's, that's peeing in the house because he's a bad dog. He's not peeing in the house because he wants to get even with you. He's not peeing in the house because he's angry. He's peeing in the house because he's confused. He needs to be more territorial. And the more territorial he needs to be, the more he's going to be. So let's get rid of the territorial thing. Give him more time out there. There's no need to be possessive over the territory. It's really that simple. Hey, good luck to you. Call me on the show.